Hi, David the Brutes, with another Jungle Queen film for you. And this one, it's really uh, interesting. It's called The Bride of the Gorilla. And guess what? There is no gorilla. Of course, you see, there's no gorillas in South America where this is taking place. Interesting name. The gorilla is what one of the guys kind of becomes. Um, not in uh, an actual way, just his manner. So I guess that's, that's where it uh, gets its uh, title. And uh, the other thing about this film is there is no, you know, you know it might imply an inter-species uh, relationship, right, of the gorilla, none of that either. You know, it's just a kind of a horror film, not quite, kind of a suspense or mystery film, but not quite. Uh, it doesn't have any real surprises in it, and but it's a good, fun, light film. So, and with uh, Raymond Burr, a.k.a. Perry Mason, and a uh, beautiful, beautiful Barbara Payton. Now, have you heard of Barbara Payton? Oh, her career was just beginning at the time this film was made. She was in several films, actually, and uh, she's like a, a blonde bombshell, as they were called back then. But unfortunately, she was overshadowed by another blonde that was blooming at that time, coming to bloom, full bloom, and that was Marilyn Monroe. <sighs> Barbara Payton finally gave up the ghost, and uh, after having a number of affairs, etc., she ended up, oh, this is really hard to say. I mean, if you, you look at her in the film, you say, how is this possible? How could this even have happened? As a prostitute in Hollywood being pimped out. Uh, it's just, it's a really sad story. And um, she wrote a book about it. And uh, I think the name of the book was I Am Not Ashamed. Something like that. Yes. Wow, how about that, huh? Okay, I'm David the Bruce. Let's get to The Bride of the Gorilla. Which, of course, there's not. Let's watch it. prehistoric ages when monstrous superstitions ruled the minds of men. Something that has haunted the world for millions of years rose out of that verdant labyrinth. Let me tell you 
how the jungle itself took the law into its own hands. This was Van Gelder Manor, built to stand against the searing sun, built to shelter generations of Van Gelders. It also has become prey to the powers of the jungle, that terrifying strength that arose to punish a man for his crime. Good afternoon, Mrs. Van Gelder. It's been an unpleasant day. Your husband pays me to run his plantation, not to be killed by the heat. It's part of the job. Rubber's going up in price every day. I can't get enough workmen. When I do, they run away to go into business for themselves. Oh, when they had slaves. Aren't we all slaves? Sure. Not me. I'm free. You call this freedom? With bars in front of the windows? No, thank you, Lorena. This is no place for a beautiful woman. A woman like you ought to travel, wear pretty clothes, have some fun. Life runs away too fast if you don't hold on to it with both hands. My life is here with my husband. After all, he did offer to share his name and his home with me. You're confusing gratitude with love, Mrs. Van Gelder. There are other things much more important. A woman wants to be loved. Hello, Klaus. Hello, Doctor. Nice to see you, Dina. I was looking for you, Barney. You should have been at the warehouse. The heat got me down, Mr. Van Gelder. There was an accident, Barney. A man got hurt. They always get hurt. That's the chance they take. This one died. You wouldn't have died if you'd been there. I can't be in two places at the same time. Don't fight before dinner. Pardon me, Dina. Well, white people shouldn't live too long in the jungle. It brings out their bad side, their jealousies, impatience. Class isn't well. I told you, it's, it's his low blood pressure. You can hardly hear his heartbeat. I haven't had a chance for quite a while to get that close to his heart. Dina, it's his complaint that you neglect him. You don't understand him. Does he try to understand me? He's only too happy being left alone. He likes to read his books without me around to bother him. If you were married, you'd act differently, wouldn't you, Viet? I was married once, long ago. You wouldn't know either, would you, Barney? Come again? I was just talking about marriage. What do you think about marriage? Marriage is a contract, a civil contract, isn't it? I mean, it has nothing to do with love. It's a relation either of sympathy or of conquest. But every couple isn't a pair. You must have read that someplace. Sure. Everybody knows I can't think of anything clear. I too am not clever, Barney. But I know where to find wisdom. Long. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. We had a case of smallpox down in the harbor, class. I think it'd be wise to inoculate all your workers. You know about the complaint of that worker and his daughter? It's my own business, Mr. Van Gelder. You're living in my house. I demand that you conduct yourself accordingly. You've not done so. You can pick up your pay and leave. It's all right with me. What's the matter? What are you mad at Barney for? I don't want him here any longer. Do you mind if I have my dinner first? 
excuse me, will you? Stay here. What's gotten into him? I'll find out. Did you pick a fight with Claus today? No. But I'm old enough not to be pushed around by anyone. I don't like his spies. That old woman, Al Long. Ten to one, she gives him a report every day. I want to be treated right, that's all. Just because he has money doesn't mean he owns me. Don't go away. Don't leave. That's all I need to know. want to take dinner with you. Be quiet. Don't leave me alone. You shouldn't excite yourself. What do you want me to do? Smile? Keep my eyes shut? You do love her, don't you? Without her, I... You got rid of Barney Chavez, that was right. But still, I'd take her away from here. It's the climate. A woman buried in a place like this, you must understand if she gets a little mixed up. You too like her, don't you? Of course. She looks good to any man. That's a compliment to you. <laughs> Listen to who's giving advice. My private life isn't perfect either, but then I live alone, so nobody cares. That makes the whole difference. Barney Chavez, he's like a beast, an animal with animal instincts. I never thought, Tino, it would come to this. You better go to bed. I should too. I don't like to see you taking so little care of yourself. But you'll be all right. Thank you, Viet. Good night. Good night. Marina. Marina. What happened? Talk to me, my child. Bonnie. He lied to me. He doesn't love me anymore. I want you to stay with your people. But he will never hurt you again. Never. What are you doing here? talk to you. I don't care to listen to anything you have to say. You chose your time to talk, Van Gelder, in the presence of your wife, your doctor, and your servants. What I have to say, I wanted to say to you alone. All right. Go on. I've done a lot of good work for you. Anything else? You read from the Bible tonight, Van Gelder. But you didn't finish what you were reading. I thought I'd made myself clear. It goes on. Let them be confounded that persecute me. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. I'm glad you remember something out of the Bible. A man sometimes gets in a spot where he has to make a big decision, Van Gelder. My decision's been made. Mine too. You're standing in my way. And Dina's. Did she ask you to tell me that? We love each other. What are you going to do about it? Help! 
Mann! Tell Klaus, I'm not afraid to talk to him. He can't hold you here. This isn't a prison. Where'll we go? Does it matter? I can get a job any place. Nobody will hire you around here. They all know Klaus. And they stick together, you know that. The world's a lot bigger than this jungle. Bonnie, I'm afraid. You'll be happy. I promise you. You'll be happy. He shall be like an enemy that hunt in the jungle. The jungle shall hunt him to his death. You insist, Mr. Chavez, that the last time you saw Mr. Van Gelder was in this room? You have it in writing. Yet footprints the size and shape of your own were found near the body. Are you sure that you weren't in the garden last night? Why don't you come right out with what you want to say, Commissioner? Why don't you ask me if I killed Klaus van Gelder? You know, I had a quarrel with him. You got witnesses for that, haven't you? I have, that's true. But the evidence I have is not strong enough to bring charges against you. What is your opinion, Dr. Viet? Klaus van Gelder died from... Uh, Shock and suffocation caused by snake venom. He was a sick man. It may well have been that he had a fainting spell in the garden and the snake attacked him. Anyway, that's my official report. And your private opinion? My private opinion... is of no value. It might have been that during a struggle Mr. Chavez knocked Mr. Van Gelder down. The snake bit him. These reptiles often attack when frightened. The doctor just told you Van Gelder died of suffocation caused by snake poison. That is official, isn't it? You have a discoloration on your jaw. A fight, perhaps? Yes, with one of my men. What about? Why don't you stick to the point? Why don't you arrest me? I would, but for one thing. These leaves. They come from a plant called the Pediguan, the plant of evil. Do you know about such a plant? No. These leaves worry me. They're used to put an evil spell on people. Now listen, Taro, don't accuse me of using magic. I don't. Along, would you come here, please? I want you to answer me truthfully. What do you know about Mr. Van Gelder's death? He was bit by the snake. He was? How do you know? I saw it. You did? Then did you also see Mr. Chavez? No. He was in Mrs. Van Gelder's room. All the time. 
Is this true, Mrs. Van Gelder? Yes. He came to say goodbye. Dino. Well, this would seem to prove that Mr. Chavez had nothing to do with Mr. Van Gelder's death. How long? Where is the plant that these leaves came from? You know it's against the law to own such a plant. It's dangerous poison. You can't make a talk, Terra, unless she wants to. You know that. Oh, I know. I guess we'll have to search her room. Nato, take her along to her room and search it for a pay de guine plant. As you say, there's no use asking her questions. I sometimes feel as though I don't even speak my own people's language. Since I became an official, I, I seem to be standing outside their code of law. The inquest is closed. It's here, in the chest. Would you like to have such a plan for your own? It's against the law. It wards of sickness, keeps away the evil spirit, brings money into the house. I must destroy it, Al Long. But his power also brings evil. If you hurt it, you are cursed. Your wife will fall sick, your children die. Bring such a plan to your house tonight. No, I don't want it. I don't believe in black magic. Don't tell anybody I have such a plan. No, I won't. But you keep away from my house. I don't want witches near my children. I'm glad Al Long saw it happen. I didn't want you to get involved. That was lucky, wasn't it? Don't go away. I won't. You know that. Oh, Pierre de Guin. Cloud his mind. Change banish Chavez into an animal. In his eyes, he shall be an animal. He shall be an animal in the animal's eyes. Hello, Dr. Is this your first marriage, Mr. Chavez? My father used to say, try everything once. Once I marry, I'll stay married. I've been married for 26 years. I keep my marriage going. My wife does the rest, and believe me, we both have to work at it. Is it really true you've been a dancer? Stella, it's not polite to ask questions. Why not, Mrs. Van Hoysen? Yes, I've worked all over the world. Rio, London, Paris. Oh, I've never been to a nightclub. It, it must be exciting. Father Master. May I drink? I drink to your neighbor? We're only 40 miles apart. That's practically door to door in this part of the world. Well, I see you're getting service in your house. Here's the good service. I'm very unlucky. Every time I meet an attractive man, he's either married or just going to be married. Better luck next time. Excuse me, Doctor. Now on, it'll just be you and me.
Nothing else matters. Nothing. Promise? Oh, yes. I do. I've come a long way to find you. What's all that about? Mr. Chavez, the papers are prepared. All you have to do is sign them and pay for the government stamp. Every step in life starts with paying money. No. You sign first. I'm afraid you might change your mind. How shall I sign? My maiden name? Your legal name, Van Gelder. Suddenly it hurt bad. Where did it hurt? In the fingers? Or... I'm all right, don't worry. I'm all right. Let's go back. No, I... Tell him I got sick. Tell him I got a fever. Tell him anything you want. You better lie down. I'll send Dina in. No, I don't want to see anyone. You're sure you don't want to see him? No. Now, leave me alone, will you? Don't you like me? Of course I like you. Pour me a glass. Sure. Something's bothering you. You saw you married me? No. Why should I be? I never thought I'd have such a beautiful wife. But you've changed so much. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't changed. Listen, Dina. Listen. What is it? The jungle. Close the door. I don't want to hear it. No. Oh. Sounds like music. You hear that? You hear that high sound? That's a bird with long red feathers. It flies without making a noise. But its voice gives it away. I know it. It's a vicuna bird. I even hear the snakes. I, I have to leave. Fanny, you've got a fever. No, no, I haven't. But I have to leave. Well, you can't go in the jungle at this time of night. You hear them? Dina. Go to bed, Dina. I'll be back soon. If you love me, don't go. No, no. I'll be back. Barney, you can't leave me. Barney!
you quit. It's not my arm, it's not my eye. It's not my face. Come on, Dina. I thought you'd never get here. Well, it was a hundred miles away. How long has it been like this? It was since I found him in the garden. When was that? Six hours ago. Well, you must have a fever. Well, oh, my hands, they hurt, they hurt. Yes, he complained about his hands before. But the things he says don't make sense. Things he says in his fever? Of course not. Oh, the face. Face in the water. Face. Watch out! That's all we can do for him now. He'll sleep now. Give him quinine when he wakes up. Happy? Very. Barney loves me. That's the difference between my two marriages. And I love him. Class was my friend. What do you want me to say? I've already told you I'm unhappy about that he had to die such a horrible death. At such a convenient time. Yes. At such a convenient time. Class died of shock and suffocation. Or would you like to change your diagnosis? I know the cause of Class's death, but not the motive. An accident. How long saw it happen? She may have been lying. It was an accident. It must have been, since Barney was in your room at the time. And you wish that wasn't the truth? Yes. A woman always knows a man's feelings about her. It's no use for it. Barney's my husband, for better or for worse. Dina... Barney's going to be all right. I'll stop by in a few days. You know where to find me if you need me. Thank you, Viet. Good night. Good night. Hello, Tara. Hello, Doctor. Come in. Am I interrupting important affairs of state? No. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. SOS Paul. Please, sí, senor. Have you heard of this... Uh, Big cat that's supposed to be around. <laughs> of course. Some say it's a puma. Others a giant ape. And still others say it's the sucara. A sucara? <laughs> that's a new kind of animal to me. That's a famous jungle demon that tears living animals to shreds with its claws and then feeds upon them. Has been known to attack humans also. Would it? Hasn't so far, I hope. No. But I'm sure it will. You're sure someone will use this rumor to kill somebody? Blame it on the Sukharat. <laughs> it's happened before. It has? I closed the Van Gelder case today, officially. Death due to suffocation caused by snake venom. That's your report, Doctor. It's not my opinion. But of course, my opinion doesn't seem to carry much weight in this case. <laughs> After all, you're... You're only the police commissioner who would be interested in your opinion. You know, Doctor, I was born in this little town. I know. I sometimes regret that I went to university and then returned to this jungle with its superstitions. It only served to confuse me. You never impressed me that way, Taro. How can I help being confused? My native mind is filled with these superstitions. My legal mind was developed through books. Written by people without emotion. Yes, but uh, justice must detach itself from emotion. Oh, that I realize. But I know that Barney Chavez murdered Van Gelder. I know it emotionally. I should arrest that man and charge him with murder. Why don't you? The case I have is not tight enough to get a conviction. I know that Al Long lied to protect him. I also know that he cannot escape punishment. Why? The Sukharath. The Sukharath? The jungle demon? <laughs> Daru, you're joking. You don't mean it. Barney Chavez will be brought to justice. 
The jungle will see to that. Well, the longer I live here, the less I understand you people. <laughs> drop in again, Doctor. Hello? Uh, this is the Commissioner. Oh, Mr. Van Hoysen. On your plantation? It's killed already? Oh, this is serious. Yes, I'll be right over. Immediately. Goodbye. Signorita, mi pistola. What's all that about? Three rubber tappers have already seen the Sukharov. They have. I told you it would be like this. And here it is. It's killed already. Next time, it might be a human. What does it look like, this uh, mystical animal? It takes various forms. But seriously, Doctor, why don't you come along? Talk to the people that have seen it. It'll enlarge your knowledge, and we might need a man of your profession about. Oh, I wouldn't miss having a look at it for the world. If these fools hadn't trampled all over the place like a herd of elephants, we would have found footprints. Mm. Neck's been broken, teeth marks, hide's been torn to shreds. You, come over here. Did you see this animal? Yes, I have seen the animal. Was it the jaguar? No. No, Doctor. It was huge and red. Red? Yes. It has a head like a man and teeth like an alligator. <laughs> what did I tell you, Doctor? The sukara. That it was. My wife saw it too. For a couple of nights, it was sneaking around our hut. It walks in his hind legs. Like a man? No. Like a beast that walks like a man. Oh, that terrible voice. Not only I have heard it, my friends here have heard it too. Well, there's only one thing to do, set traps and see if we can catch the beast. We have put many traps, all along the clearing and in the jungle. Well, what did you use for bait? Young goats. Well, if you catch the sukkarath, just call me. I'll sell it to a circus and make a fortune. to see you leave, Barney. I haven't left yet, Doctor. I'm still around. Where are you going to live? I hear Dina's mad about Rio. Mm, we haven't made up our minds. <laughs> don't question him, Doctor, or he might reconsider selling the plantation. I don't think so. The papers are already drawn. Taro will be here any moment to notarize them. You can rely on Taro. He's around when you need him, or when he thinks he should be around. He has an intuitive sense. It's quite uncanny. There he is. Talk about him and he pops up and never fails. How can you stand the jungle this long, Doctor? I can't. But I signed a government contract for five years. It'll be over soon. So let me have a look at you. What's the matter? Your eyes, the pupils, they worry me. Nothing wrong with me. How are you, Commissioner? Oh, as well as can be expected. I'll be glad when the rains come, though. Well, I have the papers all drawn up. All they lack is your signature. I hope these are the final papers I must sign. We do not sign the final papers. That's right. I sign them. I am the coroner. Exactly. This is all, madame. Those things in the chair are for you, Lorena. Thank you, madame, but Alain doesn't like me to wear this kind of clothes. Then throw them away. Come in. Hello, doctor. Now I'm sure you're leaving. I didn't quite believe it before. You didn't? No, words often don't mean much, but... when you see it, why, uh, 
Well, you'll be seeing us in Rio. Didn't you tell me you were leaving the government service? Yes, in a few months. This is for you, Lorena. I think you'll find use for it someday. Isn't that the dress you wore when you married Klaus? Yes. That's why I want to get rid of it. The past is dead, Viet. Stone dead. And I don't want to be reminded of it. I'd like to speak to you alone for a few minutes. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, madame. That's all, Lorena. What's wrong? You look serious. I'm worried. About me? No. About Barney. He's not well. It's the fever. He'll be all right once we get out of here. Uh, tell me, Dina, does he take drugs? Quinine, that's all. I watched him today. His eyes... What's the matter with his eyes? Dilation of the pupil. Certain drugs cause uh, optical atrophy, uh, sympathetic irritation, or weakness of the ocular nerve. I don't understand a word. He uh, looks to me like a man who's been poisoned. Poisoned? I'm sure of it. I'd like to examine him, but... He'd never stand for that. I know. It's almost impossible to make a diagnosis without chemical uh, analysis. But all the symptoms seem to point to the fact that... Wait here. I'll get him. Here I am with a hundred thousand in cash in my pocket, waiting for a man to pick it up. Have you seen Barney? Have we seen Barney? We thought he was with you. No, the last time I saw him, he was talking to you. How long? Where is Mr. Chavez? He went away. Went away? I saw him crossing the garden for the jungle. Well, he should be back soon. Tina. He won't be back tonight. Tell Van Hoysen that there's no use waiting. But what's he doing in the jungle at night time? It's suicide. But it's suicide for me too, waiting for him. It's silly. I can't concentrate. Ten o'clock. I think we should send the servants out to find him. Something must have happened to him. It's no use. He won't be back until late. Then you tell Barney if he wants to sell his plantation to see me at my house. Tell him this is no way to behave, running away without an excuse. Mrs. Chavez can sign the papers. She's the legal owner. She could? My husband's the boss in this house. Well, I wish my wife could hear that. You tell Barney to show up tomorrow or our deal is off. day before yesterday. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to sell the plantation. I like it here. Barney. No use arguing. My mind's made up. I won't stay here. If you want to leave, I won't hold you. Barney, you've been poisoned. Be it sure of it. Poisoned? He's been lying to you. Oh, don't tell me different. I've had my eyes open. Well, why should he... He's in love with you. There's nothing between Viet and me, and you know it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm not happy here. I'm happy out there in the jungle. Barney, please. Why shouldn't I tell you? Why shouldn't I? Out there, in the jungle. Out there, everything's different. I seem changed. My hands, my eyes. I can see further than I've ever seen before. The smallest leaf on top of the highest tree. I can climb as if I had wings. I can smell a thousand smells. Flowers, plants, the animals, 
I'm strong, powerful. The jungle's my house. It belongs to me. Bonnie, listen to me, please. It's all in your mind. Bonnie, please listen. I love you. I can hear voices. Voices miles away. The animals talk to me and I understand them. I understand them. They're afraid of me. Afraid of me. Yes, I know. Bonnie, go to sleep. You're tired. Tired? Tired? Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired too. Very tired. When it's night, I'll show you the jungle. Then you'll know I'm telling the truth. What do you want? We cannot go on working for you. Why not? It isn't safe. There's an animal around. We are afraid. We almost caught it in a trap, but it got away. Now none of my men will go to the jungle anymore, as long as it is alive. What does it look like? It... 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 We don't know. We just came to get our pay. We're going to move away from here. To get where... some else place. Sure. If you can have your pay, I won't stop you. Yours... two weeks pay, that's all. Okay. Your, your hands. What's the matter with my hands? It looks like dry blood. Drink it down. What is it? Take it, it'll calm you. I'd be frightened if I weren't so unhappy. He uh, thinks he's a jungle animal. What kind of animal? He says he can kill. He was rational up until a few days ago. You must face the truth, Dina. There's no sense in running away from it. I can't quite make it out. He'd act that way if he'd been poisoned. These natives have many ways of driving a man out of his mind. Uh, uh, there are drugs that cause... Uh, Hallucinations, schizophrenia, manic depression. But who would want to poison him? And why? You know why. I don't. Taro thinks that Barney murdered Klaas. Viet. He's convinced of it. And you? I'm certain. Barney killed Klaas, and it was no accident. It was premeditated murder. You don't want to see it because you're... you're in love with him. I am in love with him. He has to be put away. He's dangerous. It might be his conscience that's driving him out of his mind. He likes the jungle. Believing that he's an animal, he thinks he has the right to kill. Sooner or later, he'll turn against you. I'm not afraid. Don't you understand? As long as you are alive, you will remind him of his crime. I told you. I'm not afraid. It's my duty as a doctor to have him placed behind bars. Your duty or your desire? You want to get rid of Barney. You're in love with me, aren't you, Viet? Yes. Since the first day, Klaus brought you to his house. I'm sorry. Don't you understand that I can't live without Barney? We belong together. He's my husband. For better or for worse. The 
servants have run away. They have? All the workers have quit. Everyone's gone. Why don't you leave? I can't. Sure you can. You're free. That's what Viet told me. That I can go wherever I want. That I'm free. He's right. I told him that I belong to you. And only death can part us. Death can't touch me. I just started to live. You don't know the jungle. Now I do. And I hate it. I hate it more than any woman that would take you away from me. What else did your doctor tell you? He said you killed Klaus. Did he? Tara thinks so too. I don't care. They won't find me. I will. I'm going with you. You wouldn't like it out there. You haven't got the eyes to see or the ears to hear. It wouldn't protect you. You hate it. That's why it hates you. Don't go. Let's stay here. Don't go tonight. We'll go tomorrow together. Remember the night you said you loved me? You said you'd always love me, always. You said you'd always remind me that you loved me. like my jungle. Oh, let's go back, Bonnie, please. I'll never go back. Never. Stop. Go on. Why don't you shoot? You can't miss. But you won't make me go back. You and I don't belong together anymore. Bye, Dina. Bonnie! Dina, where are you? Dina! How long? Lorena! There's not a soul around. Servants must have gone, too. I expected that as soon as I found this. What is it? It's the Pediguan plant. Al Long had it all the time. It's the poison she used on Barney Chavez. She wanted to take the law in her own hands. Dina must have followed Barney into the jungle. Right. Well, how can we find them at nighttime? I know my jungle, Doctor. Out there, my senses are those of an animal. Come.
like something that has been haunting the world for millions of years. The jungle has risen to punish Pawnee Chavez for his crime.